Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are all of the books that I ended up reading in February. <laughs> I ended up reading 17 books in the month of February, nine of which were audiobooks and eight were ebooks. So I did not read any book physically with my hands holding a book this month, which is unfortunate, <laughs> but it's to be expected with the busy school schedule that I had. So we're gonna do these wrap ups like I normally do. We're gonna be talking about from my least favorite to my favorite read of the month. And then I will also tell you if a book that I read um, is in a dedicating dedicated reading vlog because uh, I participated in two month-long readathons in February. And the books that are um, in those dedicated reading vlogs will probably have more of my opinion in there, so I'm not going to talk too much about those books. First, we have my least favorite read of the month, which is not all that bad. It's only three stars, and it is either The Light or A Light Within, The Light Within by Grace Draven. Um, this is just a novella, a part of the um, Master of Crows series by Grace Draven. You cannot read this by itself. It's like 16 pages, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a little novella about our couple from Master of Crows going to like this winter solstice festival thing. So not really all that much happened in it. And I can't really give you that much of a summary because it is a, like a 16 page novella part of this series, um, but it's in my fantasy romance reading vlog that was posted earlier this month. Then we have Titanic by I.D. Johnson. I read this as a buddy read with Nicole from Who Picked This Book. We ended up reading it because I posted on Instagram one day how I really want a Titanic retelling like romance because I just recently watched rewatched Titanic and it's one of my favorite movies of all time and I love it so much. Jack and Rose are everything to me so I was like I want a romance that's inspired by Jack and Rose. Like basically a Jack and Rose retelling on the Titanic. I want a book like that because that romance was fantastic and so I wanted to feel the same feelings. And so Nicole messaged me and she says she found this book for free on Kindle and I was like great do you want to buddy read it with me and she was like of course and so we ended up buddy reading it and I believe we both gave it the same rating um three stars it was okay this is again a retelling or no it's not a retelling it's a story of Titanic like a story that takes place on Titanic it's very short it's a clean romance nothing steamy happens in this book um but basically our heroine is like a well-to-do um lady in Scotland or England, I don't remember which one. And then our hero, I believe, is from America. And so our hero and heroine were arranged to be married for a very long time. Both of them have been of age, but the man in the relationship, they've never met, by the way, they've never met. Um, the man in the relationship has not come to marry her. Like he has not come for years and years, he has not come to seek her out to marry her. And um, our heroine is at home, like basically bashing his name because she, he won't come rescue her. No, she doesn't have the means to tell him what's going on in her life, but she hasn't, he hasn't come to find her, to like get her. And she like blames him for not rescuing her from this situation and being, she thinks that he's just a bad dude overall because she is experiencing these horrible things at home. Trigger warning for abuse, trigger warning for sexual assault. Her uncle runs their house now because her father ended up dying. And um, her uncle does horrible things. It's just horrible. And so she kind of like blames her fiance like for not rescuing her. And then one day whenever her fiance does come to come marry her, she's like, too bad, so sad, I am leaving. And like something horrible happens and it's like the last straw to where she wants to leave and she runs away with her very close, um, like one of the maids in her house and they end up boarding the Titanic and they're gonna make a life for themselves uh, once they get to America. And little does she know that her fiance is going to be on that ship as well. And then she finds out that he is completely different than what she like judged him or how she judged him in her brain and it's them on the Titanic and everything. And it's like a mistaken identity or a hidden identity because she's hiding her identity from him. It's pretty wild in like, like certain things. It's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously I did not know all those trigger warnings going in, which I felt like should have been addressed. <laughs> but yeah, Nicole and I just had some issues with like certain like things in here, how convenient certain things were. It just, it's not the best book ever, obviously. We both just wanted more out of it, if that makes sense. Then we have Be My Spark by Nia Arthurs. This one I read it during the Black Author Readathon. So you can check out that vlog to know my in-depth thoughts because I talk a whole lot about this book in that video. Like most of that video is me talking about this book. I was really looking forward to it because this book is pitched as childhood friends to enemies to lovers, which I 
find that trope super intriguing. And I've read a book that has that trope in it and I am obsessed with that book. Unfortunately, this just didn't hit the bill for me. I ended up giving it 3.5 and I honestly think I'm gonna round it down to a three. I think I might change my rating to a three because I'm disliking it the more that I think about it. You know what I mean? So basically, yeah, childhood friends to enemies to lovers. Something happened. They were best friends as kids and then something happened and they were enemies and now they're in college. And basically they're in the same, I believe, art history class. They ended up doing a project incorrectly. Like you're supposed to, in this art history class, your final project was to work with your assigned partner to do a project and then turn it in and that was your final project and they were assigned to be partners together. They both knew that they could not work together and so they just did the project by themselves individually and indiv handed in individual projects. And the professor called them into his, his office and was like, you didn't follow the instructions. Um, I'm gonna let you redo the project and you're gonna have to work together. So they're like forced to be together and be in the same proximity with one another, even though they hate each other. And my main issue in here, like the romance was good. It was okay. I found it very intriguing. The enemies to lovers part was very like fast, got over the fact that we were enemies, you know? That's my main issue with that couple. But my main issue with the book, certain things really peeved me of how realistic they are, if that makes sense. Like I am a college student. I go to university. I also work for the university. Um, my job is with the university. You are not able to change final grades after they're due. Like you're not allowed to redo anything. You're not allowed to submit final grades after the due date. Like professors cannot do that. Like you cannot change like their grade. You can't do that. You can't have an extension on a final class project like after grades are due. Like that's not a thing that you can do. And it really, <laughs> It really like sucked me out of the story and I kept thinking about it this whole entire book which should not have happened um, And just some little tidbits here and there that like really sucked me out of the story And if you want to go see my specific thoughts and just my overall opinion on it Just go check out that vlog my black author read on blog is linked down below I have a lot of opinions about this book <laughs> So next I have another book a part of the black author readathon. Um, we have A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. Sorry, I cannot talk. <laughs> um, and this is the first book, a part of the Reluctant Royal series. This is a royalty romance that I had such a fun time reading. Um, again, if you want to know my in-depth thoughts, go check out that vlog. Um, but overall, just a really fun read. Uh, our heroine is like a long lost princess that she doesn't know she's a long lost princess. And then our hero is a prince um, and he like comes to find her because they're like betrothed to one another and she has no idea what he's talking about and it's it's pretty funny It's pretty fun. I really enjoyed this one four stars Then we have another book a part of the black author readathon. We have set by Alexandria house This is a novella about a couple an older couple, which was really cool I think they're in their 40s. So these people end up reconnecting at a high school reunion They like knew of each other in high school, but they like never like met or hung out together or anything but they reconnect or they get to know each other at a high school reunion of theirs and then they end up in a uh, steamy relationship and it turns into something more. Um, this one was really hot, really hot, really steamy. Had a lot of fun reading this one. Um, my only major gripe on this is that like it wasn't well developed with like the fam, fam familial, there you go, familial background and aspects. I was really confused with like that part of it because it didn't really go deep and things were just were talked about at surface level and I felt like we needed more to it if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm making sense but again check out that vlog for more thoughts. Four stars for this book. Then we have The Undying King by Grace Draven. This is a fantasy romance so if you want to know more about it fantasy romance reading vlog is linked down below. So this book is about Imogen and she has the power to kill people. Like she was born with it. She was touched by death. Um, and so her touch, if you touch her skin, uh, you will die like that. Oh, the book starts out with her mother dying and telling her that the undying king in this f land that people thought was a myth can help you like um, get rid of your curse. And so Imogen seeks out, goes to find this mysterious man in this mysterious land and she ends up finding the undying king and he is the first person she's ever been able to physically like touch skin to skin because he has been cursed to not die and he has lived for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years it's in this land that nobody can come to and it's quite interesting i found it very interesting i really like the world i wish there was more to it. I wish this book was longer. I wish there was more in this series. And so I ended up giving this one four stars. Then we have The Lightning God's Wife by Grace Jamin, which is also part of my fantasy romance um, reading vlog. This one is a, another novella, a part of the Master of Crows series that I talked about earlier in this video, like the first book. Um, it's also a novella in that, but this one was way more fun for me. Um, so this is a novella. It's only like 30 something pages. Our heroine, Martise, who is a part of like the main series, uh, she ends up telling the story of the gods of their land to 
Silhara. So she's like telling him about these gods in their land, like telling the story of them and their love story. It's pretty interesting. I really liked it. I ended up giving it four stars because like I wanted more from it and I felt like this book would have been flippin' amazing. And if it was a whole, whole length book, it would have been awesome. Like if it was a whole entire book and I feel like Grace German should do that because I wanted more from this. But overall, I really enjoyed it. So I ended up giving it four stars. Okay, we're gonna stop the video for a second and do a shout out from my Disney shout out mug. I put every single person that I'm subscribed to on booktube into this mug, no matter if they're big or small. And I plan to shout somebody out today. So let's do it. So let's pick this one. Let's see who it is. Put that down. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it is Chelsea Dolling Reads, as you can see. I absolutely love her. She just started making booktube videos again from a little bit of a break, which I felt, I feel like everybody needs a break sometimes, you know? I had, I've had plenty of breaks. If you didn't know about Chelsea Dolling Reads, she's pretty popular, but I absolutely adore her. She reads kind of a mixture of things. I subscribe to her mainly for her romance reading. Um, I feel like she mainly reads the mainstream traditional publishing romances, you know? She loves um, The Hating Game, she loves Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I believe she likes Beach Read, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I love um, two of those books. <laughs> Red, White, and Royal Blue is not really my thing. I'm not a politics person. That's just me. Um, but I love her romance recommendations, and I get a lot of my traditional published romances like recommendations from her and i love her so much for that like a lot of the shelf is traditionally published and um i feel like she was a main part in me stepping more into traditionally published because i really love my ku and indie romances as well um but i absolutely adore her and i just love her vlogs i love her cats i love like i love like everything i love her plants as well her rainbow shelf is beautiful i just love all of her videos and I always just smile whenever I watch her video so if you are not subscribed to Chelsea like you already should be probably if you love romance but if you're not please check her out down below I love her so very much then we have Sweet Talk and Lover by Tracy Livesay I also give this one four stars this was for the Black Author Readathon this is basically a steamy version of a Hallmark movie so her heroine has been in a rut in her job um, and she's on the verge of being fired and so her boss is like will consider you for a promotion and you also won't be fired if you go to this town and see if like we need to stop production in this factory, you know? And so our heroine ends up going to this town and meeting everybody in the town and she ends up meeting the mayor of this town who is really trying not to have the factory shut down because that's where a bunch of the jobs in this town are. That's where a lot of people get their income. It's a romance between our heroine and our hero and she's, it's kind of like a grumpy sunshine. She's kind of a grump and he's the sunshine. Um, it was pretty cute, pretty fun. Hallmark movie, but a steamy version. Very fun. I really liked this one. Four stars. I ended up reading Sworn to the Shadow God by Ruby Dixon. This is the second book a part of the Aspect and Anchor series by Ruby Dixon. I read this for Pharaoh Feb and this is so much fun. So this book series is basically about women from like Earth getting sucked into a portal into this fantasy land. And this fantasy land is super cool. You have to read them in order, the books in order. The novella is this one. That's like book one. I recommend starting with it. That's uh, The King Spencer Bride. I love that book so much. Um, so this is like the book a part of the like main series. It's not a novella. It's like 600 something pages, but um, I really like this one. So our heroine gets sucked into this fantasy portal, like into this fantasy land. And in this land, there are gods that represent certain like aspects, you know? And so our god for this book is the god of death. And so he gets cast out onto the mortal plane, but the only way you can stay in this mortal plane is if, if you have a mortal anchor to hold you into the mortal plane. And so our heroine becomes that anchor. So he can't die unless like his anchor is killed, you know? So he has to protect his anchor and his anchor basically lives for him. And so um, it's a journey about going on this fantasy land adventure and trying to find our heroine is trying to find her way back home. You cannot read this book by itself because there are certain parts of this book you would not understand if you did not read book one. Like you have to read these in order. I don't know which one I prefer, which book I prefer, a part of the main two because that one's definitely my favorite out of the series. But like you need to read book one because there's certain world building aspects that are not in book two that you'd be quite confused about, I feel like. This one is honestly just so much fun. I love the like god of death aspect in here. You know, I just love a god of death. I feel like everybody loves that too. <laughs> then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I had to read this for my young adult literature class and um, I like flew 
through this book. I listened to this on audio, which was pretty fun. This story is about Jacob and um, throughout his like childhood, his grandfather was like his favorite person. His grandfather would um, tell him stories about these kids he used to live in in this boarding school um, back in before World War One um, or World War Two. Sorry, he was in this like boarding house and he lived in a house with all these peculiar children and she shows him pictures of these peculiar children and growing up like he, like Jacob never believed him he just thought he was made up stories until one day when his grandfather ends up passing away he sees like a creature in the woods and he's like what the heck and so um he goes on a mission and a journey to figure out the truth about his grandfather and to see if his grandfather was right and telling the truth and um trying to find these peculiar children it was quite interesting this book i ended up giving it four stars way better than i like i expected it to to be honest i don't know if i'd like this as a kid like i don't know if i'd pick this up myself um you know like read it myself because the pictures are quite creepy to me like quite creepy and i get very uh scared very easily and so anything that scares me gets integrated into my nightmares um so uh, for the pictures in here i kind of just glanced over them did not study them all too much because i didn't want a nightmare <laughs> we had a great discussion about this book in my class i really like discussing it and um like jacob's journey and everything i will say this book is way more like gruesome than i like expected it to be like it's a bloody people die animals die like on page like death like killing and like it just I don't really like reading about like gruesome violent stuff like that when it comes to specifically animals like I don't want to hear about a sheep being eaten by a monster like I no <laughs> so I just gave this one four stars and I don't think I'll continue on with the series to be honest with you but it was fun while I read it you know I also read The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket I have a whole entire vlog for this book and review like it's only 10 minutes long you can go check it out it's spoiler free um and this is just a middle grade book that a bunch of people read as a kid I did not read it as a kid it's my first time reading it I ended up picking it out of my TBR jar that I pick every single month and have to do a dedicated reading vlog for so this was the one that I picked this is about the Baudelaire children Baudelaire orphans and there's three of them and each book is about them getting a new guardian because something happens to the previous guardian and they're being chased by count olaf who's trying to steal their family fortune this is way darker than i thought it would count olaf like hits the kids at times and i don't know what i would do if i read this as a kid like i don't know if i'd like it or not in all honesty um i kind of be probably a little scared um, <laughs> um but the audio for this was absolutely fantastic the audiobook is what made it for me this book like like the audiobook is a work of art a work of art and i love it please go check out my vlog if you want to um learn more about this or you want to know my in-depth reactions i also gave this one four stars then we have duchess by day mistress by night by stacy reed i read this during the black author readathon this is a different social class romance so our hero is like of lower standing than our heroine and our heroine is a duchess and she's also a widow and she's a single mother so our hero is basically like gone up in wealth because he is like, I forget his nickname, but he basically gets debts from people or like favors from people. So people ask him to find out information about certain people and he goes and finds out about the information, but instead of asking for money, he asks for favors later. Like I'll cash in a favor later if I do this for you. And then the Duchess, our heroine, like needs him to go find out certain information. All he wants is her. He doesn't want a favor. He wants her. And it is quite steamy quite like amazing <laughs> this steaminess in here is amazing our heroine is like a widow and she was the wife to a duke and the duke was like 30 years older than her and they like never really had like a passionate marriage at all and so she's never experienced like a passion with a man before until she meets reese our hero in here and um he sparks up something for her for the first time in her life she cannot stay away and i don't blame her because he sounds amazing <laughs> um i just had so much fun reading this one i really want to continue on with the series so yeah i love stacy reed so much i gave this one four stars my last four star read that i'm going to talk about is mating the huntress by talia hebert i also read this one during the black author readathon um this is basically a paranormal romance a shifter romance our hero um, shifts into a like were beast werewolf and our heroine is a huntress so she hunts those beasts and so our hero goes into this cafe and notices that the 
woman he is mated to works there and he like comes into the cafe every day and like sits there and watches her and just crushes on her and like the whole time she's like that's a wolf I need to kill him and then one day he asks her out on a date and she's like this is the perfect place for me to kill him and so she tries to kill him and he like loves at the fact that she's strong and wants to kill him <laughs> and like he just crushes really hard on her and like it's super cute cinnamon roll hero that I thought was really cute and really sweet and I love Tally Hibbert so much so I ended up giving this one four stars. Next we have Beautiful Beloved by Christina Lauren. This is a novella part of the Beautiful Bastard series. I don't remember the specific number in all honesty <laughs> but it's just a short novella a part of that series. It's the series that's over here on this side over here <laughs> and I ended up giving this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars this is about Sarah and um I think there's Max right Sarah and Max Max Stella right from book number two beautiful stranger I think that's the title if you can see the cover it's about them being new parents and like y'all like I really liked this I personally have not experienced this obviously um but it shows like the inner workings of how like a married couple is struggling to be like passionate with one another right after they have a baby and them like um, having awkwardness between the two of them and trying to um, like reconnect in the same way that they did before they had their baby and um, I thought it was quite interesting it's my favorite novella so far and like I really I just really enjoy this one so I ended up giving it a uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars next we have my five stars I think I have three on here uh, first we're gonna talk about King Sized by Jessica Kane. now I know that Jessica Kane is like a book you wouldn't assume would be on a five star read but like I loved this book so much. This is a bodyguard romance. It's like, I don't want to, maybe medieval? I don't know. Our heroine is like a princess and the books are set with her parents dying. So she becomes a queen. She's like 18, I'm pretty sure. And our hero, he is one of her many bodyguards or many guards that like stand in the castle and protect her. The reason why our hero becomes a guard, he used to be a blacksmith, I'm pretty sure. And he becomes a guard because one day he like saw her like in a parade or like her family like walking down the street and saw her and was like, oh my gosh, she is amazing. I want to dedicate my life to protecting this woman. And so he becomes a, her guard. And then the book starts out with him like standing outside her room and she's sobbing and crying and alone. Her parents just died. And he's like, is nobody going to go in there to comfort this woman? Like this woman is alone in her room and nobody's going to comfort her. And so he's like, I'm going to go do that. And so he goes into her room to like console her and comfort her. It like turns into something more. She falls for this freaking guard and it's so stinking cute. He is a super, super sweet hero. He's also a plus size hero and she like loves him so much and she thinks he's so stinking cute and sexy. And I love this one so much. It's one of my favorite novellas ever. I want to reread it like right now. Like it is so stinking cute and sweet and oh my gosh. I have been loving these Jessica Kane books, um, like the king sized and like the um, hefty ones, like where the hero is like a bigger size. Like I love them so much <laughs> and like i want him like i want him like i want that man like i want him anyway i'm gonna stop gushing about this one let's go to my next one um my next five star read is love in the wild by emma castle this was the buddy read with aspatia over at asparagus's reading she ended up giving gifting me this book for christmas which was so sweet of her and so we ended up just buddy reading it and oh my gosh we loved this book this is a tarzan retelling and i feel like that's all i should leave you with like I don't want to spoil it because the things that like aren't true to like the Tarzan like story that everyone knows about is so much fun to read about on your own and learn about on your own. Thorn is our Tarzan character and Eden is our Jane character. It is so good, swoonworthy, amazing, steaminess. We have our virgin hero. He's very inexperienced. It's a language barrier at some points and it's honestly an amazing romance read. I want a physical copy for my collection. It is it is so good. <laughs> um, I loved it so much and I know Aspatia loved it as well. Go check out Aspatia, linking her down below for y'all. Um, anyone I talk about is always linked down below. Five stars, that's all I'm going to tell you. Five star Tarzan retelling, absolutely fantastic. And lastly, I feel like everybody knows my favorite read of the month is, of course, I feel like it's going to be everybody's favorite read of the month, which is a Quarter Silver Flames by uh, Sarah Dumas. <laughs> I have a dedicated vlog for this book. It's full of spoilers, just fair warning you um, if you haven't read it yet. I have a full entire vlog of me reading this book in the dark during snowpocalypse, no power, like 
it was crazy i read it all in one day and so i had to get a physical copy for my collection obviously um it's gonna go up there somewhere i gotta squeeze it in that shelf um but this is all about nesta and cassian and their romance i'm not gonna talk too much because i don't want to spoil the series if you haven't read the series and i i loved this so much it was so good it was chef's kiss amazing i want to listen to it all over again i want to physically read it this time also but like it's a chunky monkey you know um so uh, i'm not gonna talk too much about it five stars go check out my vlog i go very in depth about what i loved um so yeah anyways there you have it those are the very 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 many books that i ended up reading in february <laughs> let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to um again also all the people that i mentioned in this video and all of the readathons that i talked about all the videos i talked about are always linked down below if you want to know more thoughts as well as my goodreads because i rate every single book on goodreads i write a review for every single book that i read so if you want to know my personal thoughts like directly after i read the book go check out my goodreads reviews that are always linked down below again thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all mm -hmm.